I was very, very shy as, as a kid. I, mean, I was afraid of the dark. Uh, every bump in the night, I think, was a sort of mad axeman who's come to murder me. And I used to live out my fantasy life by writing about it. Roy Grace is based quite a large extent on, on a real life former police officer, a guy called Dave Gaylor. And I met Dave the first time I was introduced to him about 15 years ago. Somebody said, you ought to meet this character. He's a homicide detective, quite interesting guy. And I went into his office at Brighton Police Station and it was a complete tip. Blue and green crates everywhere, bulging with folders. And I said, are you moving? And he gave me a very sardonic smile. And he said, no, these are my dead friends. He is my real life Roy Grace. And I think he has played an incalculable role in the authenticity that my books have and which I strive so hard to maintain. I'm not always the sharpest tack in the box. You know, I miss things quite often. So there, there's a huge amount of me in, in Roy and, and, and vice versa, I think. Six o'clock in the evening, I make a vodka martini with a ritual, either four olives or, or a lemon around the rim. Go in my office, sit down, fag, music, and get in the zone. And I'll write till half nine, 10 o'clock. First thing every morning, by half past six, run three to five miles, have breakfast, and I go back to my study, and I'll read what I wrote the night before, and plan what I'm gonna write that evening. One of the really exciting things about writing, for me, is that you never know where an idea is gonna pop in your head from. It could, it could be after my second vodka martini. <laughs> But an awful lot of what I write about has come out of my research with, with the police. Don't cross me. I had a, there was a critic in a magazine who gave me a really nasty review a couple of years ago, and I actually had her um, dissected on a post-mortem table. 